still need to get the first down here. Third and one. And off. Sanks. First down at the 22. The clock will stop while they move yeah. the chain. Clock stops while they move the chain. That gives David Green plenty of time to get him reset and at the line of scrimmage. Remember, Fred Gibson, not a great effort on the last series on the crossing pattern. Let's see if they go to him now. He's up here at the top of the screen. Terrence Edwards, a big ball game today. He and Gary are left. Here's Green back. Goes toward the end zone. Got a man at the one-yard line. Clock stops again. Another first down. 16 seconds. David Green can get him at the line of scrimmage again. Now, they're substituting personnel. They're bringing in a heavy formation. Extra tight ends. Man late getting on for Auburn. They may spike the ball here. Well, they got plenty of time to get a play call. Ball marked ready for play. Clock starts. Green. Handoff. Amazing. I can't they believe get it. got to lined up. Get down. I don't believe the call. Three seconds. Two. One. Over. Inexplicable. Jasper Sank stopped at the one. Time runs out. My, oh my. Bernie, the only thing I can think of is that Mark Rick thought he would fool him with the run. But with 16 seconds and no timeouts left, down to 14 or 13 when they snapped it, there's no way to unpile and spike the ball to kill the clock. And Auburn did the right thing. They held him up. They pushed him back. They stayed on it. Look at Tuffy say, just keep pushing him back. Hold on to him. Lay on him. Don't let him unpile. On the other side, Mark Richt. Trying to get him to spike it. Yep. Yep. He thought he would fool him with the run. It didn't fool anybody. And Auburn escapes again in another last minute win. Let's go down to Jill Arrington. Coach Tupperville, an emotional end to this game. What resilience your team showed by holding him off? It's a heck of a way to make a living. I'd say it's, uh, I, you have to give it to our running back. Carnell Williams, you know, I don't know how many yards he got, but he ran it all night long. Our defense held in there. They got a great football team, and and rightfully so, the thing came down to the last play. Well, you really picked it up here in the second half. All the scores that you got, and that screen pass really did set up that touchdown that really clinched it. Well, it really did, but we go back to defense. Defense really played a great game other than a couple, couple of plays, but uh, I'm proud of the whole team. We didn't play very well the last time on the road, but we did win a big road game tonight. And you just keep winning. How did the Tigers keep doing it? I don't know. We, we're going to keep rubbing that uh, rabbit's foot, I guess, but uh, these guys, when you play hard and you play with emotion, you got a chance. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations. Enjoy this win. Number three for you here. Hi, Jill, thank you. Let's take another look at the final play. Jasper Sanks. Defensive surge. No time to get lined up and to spike the ball. Mark Brown, a linebacker. He's been out with an injury. He was healthy this week for the first time in several weeks. Got the penetration and a huge defensive stop. And our player of the game for the U.S. Army, Carnell Williams. 168 yards on a record number of carries tonight. He also had a screen pass. He carried it 41 times. Final score 24 17. Ball game ends with Jasper Sanks tackled by Mark Brown on the one yard line. Here's the lineup tonight. We'll begin with Touched by an Angel.